Hello Taurus, welcome to Music Messages Tarot. If you are returning, welcome back. This video is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements, and we're calling it the mid-month love reading for you, but as most of you already know, the videos here are timeless. So whenever you come across the message, that's when you meant to hear it. A lot was coming through as I was shuffling. First of all, this energy of someone feeling stuck, wanting to come towards you, but feeling like they don't Either they can't right now, can't come to you at the moment because of practical reasons, or they're feeling defeated in some way, like uh, something in their life is making them feel like it's preventing them from coming towards you. I, I received kind of like a vision, an image of someone, a, a female feminine energy, taking off a ring and handing it back to somebody. And I also saw the 10 of cups in reverse. So for some of you, this person might be separating from some kind of a karmic situation um, and wanting to come towards you, maybe for support, um, but also because they have very deep romantic feelings for you, as I did also see the Knight of Cups. That's all just kind of what flowed in and what I was channeling as I was shuffling. But I do want to see what else comes out now for you, Taurus. We're, gonna, we're not going to be using a specific layout this month. I just want to allow the energies to free flow. You can feel free to let me know in the comments which setup you prefer. If you like our the, the layout that I normally use for your love readings or if you prefer the way I'm doing them today, you can let me know. All right, what else does Taurus need to know in their love life at the current time whenever Taurus is finding this video? We have temperance, Sagittarian energy. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse, which it doesn't surprise me with the energy that I was picking up earlier for you, Taurus. We have the, the Nine of Cups, the Four of Swords, and we also have the Queen of Wands reversed. Sagittarian energy here, also just general fire sign energy, Aries, Aries Leo, Sagittarius, sorry. Um, what I'm getting really heavily is that somebody is separating from a Queen of Wands in reverse type person. All right, I am picking up that they're they're separating from this feminine energy that has turned out to be very karmic in their life, Taurus. Uh, this could even be something very long-term, like a marriage or somebody that this person was engaged to or living with. I just see them separating from that person and going through a time period of healing. Like I said before, they're wanting to reach out to you for some kind of healing or support right now, um, but I don't see them necessarily taking the action to do that immediately there is a little bit of a hold up in this energy which is why the knight of swords is coming out in reverse okay but they are working on regaining some kind of internal balance they also see you as this nine of cups temperance kind of combination here they see you as an earth angel somebody who would be a true wish fulfillment um somebody who's very independent and who would bring a lot of balance into their emotional life. Um, but they right now themselves are not feeling very balanced. They are feeling very chaotic internally because of whatever this situation is that they're separating from. And again, I do get that it, it involves a queen of wands in reverse. I'm picking up, I wouldn't always read this as a person or necessarily as like negative characteristics associated with someone. But in this reading, that is what I'm getting. It's a third party. It is a karmic third party that has brought a lot of chaos and turmoil to this person's life, whoever this is that's attached to you right now, Taurus. Okay, so those are just kind of my initial impressions. Let's see what else wants to come out for you today. What else does Taurus need to know in their love life? At the current time, I'm being guided to shuffle one last time for you, Taurus. Okay, we have the lovers in reverse coming out on temperance. Gemini energy there. We have the eight of wands, which is interesting because it's coming out right underneath the knight of swords in reverse. So I feel like this person is going to be taking action towards you. Um, but right now they're just, they've hit pause 
mentally. Like they, they just want to pause and think about how they're going to come towards you right now. So it might not be immediate, but once they make the decision to say something to you, things are going to pick up very rapidly. That's an interesting combination there. Um, I feel like this Queen of Wands may have put your person in some kind of a third party situation here. They may have actually even chosen somebody else over your person. I'm getting very deep betrayal, heartache, something that your person is needing healing from and needing to take a pause and a time out to just kind of process because it has really thrown their entire world upside down, particularly if this was a marriage or some kind of long-term situation that they were in. What else? All right, well, yeah, we have the Ten of Cups in reverse, which I did see before. I feel like some kind of long-term relationship is really coming to a very painful end for your person. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the Ten of Swords, okay? And this might be somebody that you lost touch with or somebody from your more distant past. So when this person does come forward with communication, you might actually be caught a little bit off guard by this, Taurus. We have the moon in reverse. I feel like, yeah, something came to light. I feel like your person's karmic partner, without sugarcoating it here, was caught cheating on them, caught with someone else, or even just openly told your person, like maybe that they're not in love with them anymore or that they were gonna be pursuing someone else. Um, you know, and even though this was a karmic relationship, I feel like it did catch your person off guard here and it does have them needing some, some healing. Okay. But that has inevitably put you on this person's mind because I feel like whoever you are, like I said before, you're someone that brings a lot of peace and happiness and balance to this person emotionally. And even if it's been quite a while since you've spoken or interacted, you are the first person that came into this uh, to this masculine's mind. And it is a masculine energy that I'm picking up here as being attached to you. So you're the first person that this masculine thought to contact when this situation unfolded. When he experienced this heartache, he knew that he wanted to come toward you, Taurus, because he knew that you could make it right. You could help him in some way. What else here? What else does Taurus need to know about this situation? The magician, this Aries energy. Um, I feel like this person wants to try to kind of manifest you. <laughs> They're thinking really heavily about you. But for some of you, this might be somebody that you didn't leave off with on the best terms. Um, you may have had some kind of falling out or maybe it's just been a really long time since you've spoken and they don't know how you will react to communication from them, but they're wanting to manifest you. They're thinking really, really heavily about you. Uh, for some of them, they may be remembering like dreams that they had about you recently, or even older dreams that they may have had, like from their more distant past about you, about your connection with them, about the significance of your connection with them. Um, this is kind of pushing your person into an ego death, whatever happened with this Queen of Wands reversed, okay? I feel like it was fated to happen this way and to unfold this way because it has pushed your person into seeing things really differently. And I feel like they're seeing their connection with you differently right now as well. They definitely see you as this Nine of Cups, a very independent energy Taurus. Like they see you as being very independent, self-sufficient, able to kind of fulfill your own wishes in life. Like you don't need anybody else. So I'm picking up like a Nine of Cups and a Nine of, of Pentacles there with how they view you. Someone who truly doesn't need anything from anybody else, but um, they're realizing that they chose wrong. Like you would be their Nine of Cups. They chose a connection with this karmic that has now resulted in a Ten of Cups reversed, a, a huge disappointment for this person. What else does Taurus need to know about this connection or in their love life this month? Can we get some clarification on what's happening here? I'm just gonna shuffle one more time. All right, we have the Page of Swords, the Five of Pentacles in reverse, Nine of Cups reverse, which is really interesting because it's coming out here on the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups reverse. That's interesting. Strength in reverse, so that's Leo energy and Six of Cups reversed. 
Like I said before, I do feel like this is somebody from your past. For a lot of you, it might even be your distant past. They're coming out of this Five of Pentacles energy where they they feel left out in the cold by some situation in their life. I feel like they also feel left out in the cold because they don't know how to get back into your life, Taurus. So this is someone who really wants to communicate with you. And it might even shock you who the person is I'm getting for someone here because it's someone from your more your more distant past. Um, they know that they can that you can help them to heal them and to help them regain their inner sense of strength in this situation. Um, they are looking in on you, so heavy spying energy as well. But also, what I'm getting here is that, yeah. They see you as a nine of cups, but they don't know how to come towards you fully, which is why the nine of cups is coming out in reverse here. They're losing something that they thought was like their happily ever after. And they see you in this very, very independent, unbothered state. Someone here might really like felines or cats. I don't know why I'm being compelled to say that, but you might have a cat. You might really resonate with, with cats in some way. But yeah, they see you in this upright nine of nine of cups, but it's coming out in reverse because they don't know how to get into your world. They feel like you are in your own little bubble here. And I don't, they feel like, you know, I don't know if Taurus would really want to hear from me. How would I even break the ice with this person is what I'm hearing them say. So yeah, I would expect communication from this person. I don't think it's going to happen immediately. When I say not happen immediately, like I don't feel like they're going to reach out to you tomorrow, but I feel like it's in the near future, probably in the next several weeks, they're going to work up some kind of courage to come towards you because the spirit is guiding them towards you and pushing them towards reaching out. You're the person that can help them. They're also realizing some deeper feelings that they may have pushed down for you when they maybe chose this karmic situation. Um, but yeah, they're feeling like they just need to talk to you. It's a very, very strong urge and they're figuring out how to come towards you and whether or not you'll even want to hear from them. All right. What else does Taurus need to know this month in their love life? What else does Taurus need to know? It's kind of an interesting reading today. What else does Taurus need to know? For some of you, if you're dealing with someone else actively in your love life, uh, you very much could be in a different connection right now. You might be pursuing someone else, but I can't always help what comes through. And so this must be a very significant soul bond or connection that you have with this person because this is the person who's wanting to come through in this reading today. All right. And again, it may not connect or may not resonate for every Taurus watching, but this is what is coming out. What else does Taurus need to know about their love life this month? The runner. I feel like this was a runner from your past that wants to come back and have some kind of really significant conversation with you, Taurus. They're coming to some realizations about what you meant to them and possibly having a lot of regret over not treating you properly or uh, wanting, to, wanting to explore other options when really their intuition was trying to tell them that you were the right person for them all along. So yeah, they're in heavy regret right now. They're wanting to have this conversation with you. What else does Taurus need to know? The butterfly, and this person's going through a phase of their spiritual awakening. They're in transformation. There's a lot of growth going on because they are healing right now from this very chaotic and painful situation that unfolded for them. I feel like for some of them, it was a major tower. Like they weren't expecting this queen of wands in reverse to betray them in such a big way, but she, she did. And I feel like they weren't, they weren't expecting it. It caught them very much off guard. The chaser. So yeah, now they're wanting to chase this connection with you. They're wanting to come towards you and do the heavy lifting. They know, I think, even though they want to manifest you, I feel like that's really what they want. They're hoping by some miracle that you come towards them. They know that that's not going to happen. They're going to come to the realization that like, if I want to talk to Taurus, I'm just going to have to get the courage and do it myself. So you may be receiving a message in the near future. Again, I don't see this happening overnight, like within this week, but I do see it happening in the next several weeks for a lot of you. What else does Taurus need to know? 
This person is really doing a lot of inner healing right now. This might be a message for you as well. So you, if you've been feeling stressed, you might be kind of subconsciously picking up on this person's energy. Uh, you may want to take some time out to make sure that you are doing things to help you with your self-care and your own healing work. Uh, maybe this was a very unresolved situation and it's brought up whatever energy you're picking up from this person may have brought up some deeper feelings that you thought you already processed, but that might be making you feel very stressed out right now. Spirit is just letting you know to take time to pour into yourself and to take care of yourself. But also this person, this masculine is going through a time period of intense healing. I mean, this is coming out right here on the four of swords. So that's heavy, heavy healing energy. They're thinking about things. They're replaying things that may have happened between the two of you in the past in their mind. And they're, they're coming to some really big, important conclusions about your connection right now. All right, let's pull some more. What else does Taurus need to know about this situation and about their love life this month? Sword and Rose, yeah, clarity and truth, revelation, honor, protection, and determination. They're coming to those hard truths about themselves, about the choices that they've made, because it is coming out here on this Queen of Wands in reverse. Whoever this Queen of Wands in reverse is, is a very toxic person to this masculine. And they're regretting even pursuing anything with, with whoever this is. They realize the destruction that they've actually brought to their own life by making the wrong choices and not following their intuition about you, Taurus. I want to pull some more. What else does Taurus need to know? Yeah, this person's, they're going through a tower. I knew it. I was sensing that before. This is a major, major change in this person's life. And it has them feeling like the rug has been pulled out from beneath them. I don't know why I'm feeling compelled to say this. Uh, and before I speak on this card that just came out, uh, the song, the Celine Dion song, That's the Way It Is. <laughs> I think it was popular at the end of the 1990s. Again, I know I kind of reveal my age and my generation every time I share these songs that come through. But uh, it's basically about believing in love. And those are the people that receive love. Okay. If you've never heard it, you might want to listen to it or just look up the lyrics. But the lyric that's standing out to me right now is love comes to those who believe it and that's the way it is. So I'm not sure if maybe you find yourself in a cynical energy or if the, if that's your person. I'm not sure how that connects here. Maybe someone here really likes Celine Dion. Maybe that, uh, maybe Titanic, the, the movie Titanic might connect to someone here. Um, I'm not sure why I'm being compelled to share that, but I do like to you know, give you those little channeled bits as they come through because I'm sure they're for someone. Mirror is coming out. So this is a very high level soulmate, if not your actual runner, like your actual divine masculine. Um, you're mirroring each other really heavily right now. It says self-reflection though, introspection, inner wounds. So both of you may be finding yourselves in a time period of heavy reflection about the past. I feel like this is more pertinent to what your person is going through right now. Like this masculine is just, they don't understand why they would make some of the foolish effing decisions that they've made. Like they feel like a dumbass right now, <laughs> for lack of a better way of putting that. They, they're like, why didn't I pursue this with Taurus when I had more of an opportunity? I'm just picking up a situation where like the two of you were very close, but maybe you didn't have a very defined type of relationship with this person. Like maybe you were always in some kind of situationship with them and you feel like they wouldn't fully commit to you. Th those are the types of decisions that they're really in heavy regret over right now. They're like, how can I choose somebody like this queen of wands in reverse without a thought, without a second thought? But I was hesitant to take things uh, more seriously with Taurus. They just don't understand their previous decision making and that's what they're working through right now. But you also may be mirroring this person as well. What else does Taurus need to know about their love life this month? What else does Taurus need to know? Addiction. Your person may have some addiction issues or some toxicity, some kind of devil energy going on here. I feel like in this case, it's mostly about the toxic relationship that they were in and just realizing that they have 
continuously chosen toxic people and toxic partners over what's best for them. And I also think they're actually shocked by their own like deeper feelings that are coming to the surface, particularly around you. Um, they have such a pure affection for you, Taurus, that they don't understand why they would choose someone so toxic. All right, this is obviously some kind of karmic lesson that was in their soul contract that they needed to learn with this Queen of Wands in reverse, but it's like their eyes have been opened and they just, they feel like they were under some kind of trance is what I just heard, like, like choosing people, choosing things that were very toxic and poisonous to them when they had something beautiful right in front of them that they chose not to pursue. So they're just trying to figure out like what led to this decision making that was such a poor decision on their on their part. What else does Taurus need to know about this connection or about their love life? Yeah. They spend a lot of your, their connection with you Taurus hiding their true feelings for you. For some reason they felt like they had to suppress them. I think maybe your connection was too too intense, too um too triggering to them on a soul level for where they were at in their journey. And they just, you know, like that is the chaser runner dynamic in a lot of soulmate connections. Like, I feel like you're someone who illuminates things to people. And when they're not ready to accept that illumination or truth about themselves, the natural inclination there a lot of the time for these runners is to try to escape the connection. A lot of them do this by pretending, okay, by putting on a mask, by pretending that they don't have deep feelings when in actuality, Probably your connection with them has been one of the most significant of their lifetime. And they're coming to this conclusion now. We're going to pull one more from this deck. What else does Taurus need to know here about their love life and this connection? The snake. Competition and an and enemy. The other woman. Look over your shoulder. The karmic that this person is dealing with is not all there. Let me put it that way. Like this person... This Queen of Wands in reverse, I feel like is the snake energy that's coming through. And I also feel like she's aware of you, Taurus. I don't know if your person with that Page of Swords before was maybe looking you up on social media. Maybe they've told this person about you. But whoever this Queen of Wands is, is also looking in on you. And I feel like she can be a little bit of a dangerous person, I feel like. Someone who is very destructive and doesn't want to see, even though she may have triangulated and cheated on your person or wants to break up with your person, at the same time, it, she's got narcissistic tendencies from what I'm picking up. Like someone who wants to have your person there and doesn't want your person to move on to any other connections and would be very highly jealous and triggered if your person came towards you even though she might be making the decision to walk away. Like it's that level of toxicity from this person. Okay, so we are going to get some messages from your person's higher self now, Taurus. Whoever this person is who wants to be heard in this reading again, it may not be the only person connected to you this month, but this is the person whose higher self really wants to come through for someone here. So what would this person want to say to Taurus today in this reading? Being guided to shuffle one last time. Don't put up with my BS. So somebody who knows they put you through it in the past and they're, they're just in heavy regret over that, I feel like. They feel really ashamed for the way that they treated you. They know that you're a good person who does not deserve this. And I don't feel like they're going to come to you in the same energy that you may have left off in or left off with. But I just feel like they're in deep regret over the way they treated you, Taurus. What else would this person want to say? I'm obsessed with you. Yeah. Page of Swords vibes. Uh, that was coming out before as well. This person is looking in on you. I feel like this third party energy, this toxic energy knows that. Okay. Um, and again, even though the Queen of Wands may have been the one to end the relationship or cheat on your person, she's still very, very jealous over this person's obsession with you and their connection with you um, on an intuitive level. <laughs> I feel like it's just obvious that you have a deep connection with this person to anyone who has been around the two of you or who knows either one of you. So she's very jealous right now of this person's affections for you. 
I can't make a decision. Yeah, I did see the two of pentacles in reverse before when I was shuffling. So yeah, I feel like this person knows they want to come towards you. They first of all don't know exactly how they'll be received or how to break the ice, like I said before. Part of them is still dealing with fully separating from their previous life though. Like they're in the middle of this tower moment and anybody who's gone through major changes in their lives, which is all of us, we know sometimes that could be difficult to like come to terms with the fact that, hey, things are really changing. Like things are not gonna go back to, to the way they were. And I feel like your person is having trouble fully grappling with that. That's why it's coming out here on all this healing energy. They still need to work through that completely. And they want you to know that, okay, Taurus? I Again, I see communication. I just don't see it being like overnight, all right? Why do I deserve someone like you? They know you're the real deal. They know you're authentic. They know that they fucked up when they, they let go of you. They know that they made a life-altering decision by not pursuing this connection with you when they were supposed to. I feel like they, they, they had the opportunity to jump timelines and have a much more fulfilling, aligned life with you, but they chose the karmic and unfortunately they had to learn the karmic lesson that went along with that path. I need to hold back my true feelings for you. This person, I feel like they're going to communicate, but I don't feel like they're going to be super deep about their emotions when they first come towards you, Taurus. Uh, I do see them breaking the ice, so that might be like following you on social media or something in the next several weeks. Um, I do see you hearing from this person, but I don't think they're going to like bear their soul immediately because they're still working through whatever this is. And I feel like whoever this karmic snake energy is attached to, first of all, it's coming out on top of the magician. So uh, for some of you, this, this karmic feminine might be someone who does witchcraft or does some kind of uh, black magic. So just be mindful of that. Make sure you are, you know, up in your spiritual protection if you feel any kind of psychic attack or anything like that. If you feel like your energy is off, it's important to, to take like sea salt baths or use sage, do things that work to cleanse your aura, cleanse your energy field. Because this person, I feel like she's willing to play dirty and to do things like that to try to keep things the way that she wants them. Okay, so that's just one side message for someone. But I also feel like your person... Your person has a little bit of guilt. Like he doesn't want you involved in this situation with the karmic. And he knows the karmic person doesn't like you. He knows that this feminine energy is very jealous of you and his connection. Again, even if this is a connection from your distant past, I feel like this person may have spoken about you to this karmic feminine. And she's just not somebody who tolerates like competition very well. So he knows that she has the capability of lashing out and he doesn't want you kind of caught in the cross, the crossfire there. All right. So I think he's trying to protect you as well, Taurus here. And that's part of the holdup with coming to you and communicating with you at this time. We're going to get some final messages from this person though. What else does Taurus need to know about their love life really about their love life in general for the current time, whenever they're finding this video what else does Taurus need to know? New moon in Leo, shine. Somebody here might really love sunflowers. Um, yeah, just continue being your beautiful, authentic self. I feel like, again, you have a very illuminating energy, Taurus. Anybody in your life knows what an authentic person you are. And because you bring that authenticity to the connections that you're a part of, you have this inadvertent illuminating effect on the people around you. And I feel like this masculine is ready to receive that illumination. He's done enough work, he's had enough things happen in his life where he's not going to run from that anymore. So that spirit just letting you know, like don't alter your behavior, continue being your beautiful self because you're actually going to be helping this masculine out a lot when he does come towards you. Okay, he needs that illumination. He needs that healing energy that you bring. What else does Taurus need to know? Last quarter moon in Leo, lighten up. A lot of Leo energy here. You might be dealing with a Leo or someone who has a lot of Leo in their chart. There's a need to allow this situation to flow as it's going to flow. Do not get caught up in overanalyzing the situation. Do not get caught up in 
the fine details at first because I feel like whoever this masculine is has done a lot of work on himself, but he's still carrying some toxicity from this previous situation. And that's going to be a process that needs to work itself out in divine timing. So any kind of pushing this, trying to push this situation into place is not really going to serve you. It's not going to serve the connection. So I feel like spirit is just guiding you to kind of go with the flow at first. Like I said, I see the person breaking the ice with you, but I don't see them really having any deep emotional conversations with you at first. And you're going to need to allow this person to kind of communicate at his own pace. Let's get one final message for Taurus. What else does Taurus need to know? Here's your energy. First quarter moon in Taurus, release control, which is really just confirming everything I just said. You need to make sure you're, you're not gripping too tightly onto this situation, especially if you're somebody who has been kind of knocked off your emotional balance by picking up on this person's energy, especially if you're intuitive, empathic, which I feel a lot of you are. Sometimes that can be really disconcerting, especially if you're just like going about your business and then bam, all of a sudden it's like you're going through this person's tower moment because you're picking up on their energy. Sometimes that can put us in a state where we just, our ego and our mind wants to control, like how is this going to resolve itself? Spirit is letting you know to loosen your grip on the reins in this situation. I do feel like this person is going to come towards you and I feel like your energy is exactly what this person needs to illuminate parts of their shadow self that they still need to work through. They have very, very deep feelings for you as well, Taurus. That's something I'm picking up on like emotionally and energetically right now as I'm doing your reading. So they do, they love you. They do love you. Okay. And this is like a very deep seated love. Um, you know, on a soul level, it's a very deep seated soul based love, but also it's a love that was generated by all of your shared experiences with this person in this lifetime. This person hasn't forgotten about you and you are still important to them. Okay, that's what I have for you this time, Taurus. If something resonated with you or if it was helpful, if you can like, comment, and subscribe, it would really help the channel grow. Other than that, though, I'm wishing you all the peace and harmony and I do hope you have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.